All right, guys, I'm going to do this video on how to change your mower blades on a John Deere S100. This is the 42 inch deck. If you're not sure uh, what size yours is, there's your first hint right there. Um, you might not see that right away because it is a little under there, but so that's 42 right there. This is a two blade deck. Some of the wider ones, I believe like the 48 inch ones have three blades. This one just has two. I've got some genuine, genuine uh, John Deere blades here. There's the part number there. Uh, but it does say right there, 42 inches. And then if you look here, uh, S100 right there is compatible with this mower. Um, I actually recommend getting aftermarket. These are pretty heavy duty blades. Like there's some weight to them and they're quite thick, but they're also uh, quite thickly priced because um, these were 38 bucks. And I know you can get them cheaper than that on Amazon. So go ahead and get aftermarket ones if you want. Um, I'll just grab these for the, video, for the sake of the video. Um, so we're going to go underneath and I'll show you how to undo it. All right, we're under the mower deck now. This is the one tool that you guys may not have. This is a 24 millimeter socket. Fits right on there. Um, most standard socket sets stop at um, 19 millimeters, sometimes even 17 and like three quarters or seven eighths. So you, unless you have a different the normal socket set, you probably don't have this. Good news is you can go rent these at almost any uh, auto parts store if you need them, or you can just buy the single one by itself. It's like seven or eight bucks, but it's better than buying a huge kit that goes all the way up to these large sizes. So you'll need that and a ratchet or a breaker bar. I've got a breaker bar and we're gonna bust those loose. Before we do that though, I just wanted to show you the condition of these blades. They're actually not in bad shape. Uh, I've used this for one season now. I've never washed this deck. I'm ashamed to say that, but I have never washed it, but it's in really good condition for never being washed. And I use this for more than just mowing. I, uh, I also um, mulch leaves with it. And there's this one uh, tree in the back of my yard that has really, really hard pine cones. And I really expected these blades to be beat up. But uh, I guess these are the John Deere blades and they have quite a bit of thickness to them. Um, I expected them to be a lot more beat up than they are because those pine cones on other mowers that I've used will like start curling the metal. Um, so uh, it's not, it's not sharp to the touch. Um, so I'm probably going to save these to resharpen them and reuse them. And, but we'll put the new ones on for now. Here's a nice little tip for you. Um, when you go to loosen this, the blade does want to spin, right? And there's really no way to hold on to it, uh, unless you put a glove on and hold real tight with your hand. But what I did was I just got a, a scrap piece of one by that I just had sitting in my shop and just propped it up there. So the blade hits it and it's actually, it's lo it's a perfect length. So it just holds itself up in place. And then I can grab my breaker bar, get on that nut, and that block, sorry, that block will stop it from turning as I loosen this nut. So that works out really well, and then I'll do the same thing on the other side. So uh, let me take this nut off, and we'll put the new blade on. All right, we've got the old blade off, and here's, here's the new one. You'll, you'll notice that there's a seven-pointed star configuration on the opening. Um, different mowers... Uh, have different number of stars. I've seen 5.6 point, 7 point. So apparently John Deere is 7 point. So make sure you have that same pattern if you're getting aftermarket blades or third party blades, because um, that has to match up with that spline right there. So the important thing to, to look at when you're putting this back on, make sure the cupped side is upwards. Otherwise your blades will be uh, spinning and the cutting edge won't be pointed the right way. And then also when you put this washer back on, it is slightly convex. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's slightly convex. That that dished part goes up first. And then, of course, the nut goes on. So I'm put that on, torque it, do it to the other, same to the other side, and we're good. Uh, one quick thing on safety when you're jacking up your equipment, make sure you block your wheels. I have a, a 4x4 block in my wheel there, and I've just got a regular car jack, and I've got that jack point right there. You can see that the way it's hooked on there, it's not going to slip off. But uh, just to be safe, I'm not going to crawl my whole body under here. I'm just going to reach one arm under in case it did fall. If you don't have a jack, um, you can drive this up on some ramps if you can. But that's really hard to do with the mower deck in the way because it, it, it's tough to pull up on ramps. One thing you can do is if you have a ditch like this in your yard, I've done this before, where I drove down and straddled the ditch and then I could reach underneath there. Um, so you might have to get creative, but be safe out there, guys. Have a good mowing season. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hope this helped. Well, I don't normally do this, but I messed up this guy, guys, so I wanted to make sure you don't make the same mistake. I put this on backwards. When I said the cupped part goes upwards, 
No, it does not. The, pu the, cupped work, the cupped part goes downwards. If you tighten it down like this, your blade will not turn at all because this cup will catch up there on the pulley. So uh, yeah, make sure you put it cup side down. Your, your first hint, I should have known when I looked at this, there's the outline of the washer and that cup side is definitely down. So uh, I will put a warning in the video where I said it wrong to make sure that nobody does this wrong. But uh, I'm gonna have to flip this over and fix it.